Welcome back, uh, Mike Rondo here. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Uh, tonight, it's a Monday. I figured, you know what? Why be so serious, right? As the Joker would say, why so serious? So, but today, today's a perfect time because I got a package. So, this is actually going to be a Yabo or yet another unboxing or an unboxing video. Uh, not a show and tell, although it'll be listed under the show and tell because. That's what I tech typically do. This just happens to be something I didn't uh, get to open until now. So it happens. But something interesting. Uh, yesterday, I came across a comment, which I just want to state that I didn't delete this comment. I It would take a lot for me to kind of delete a comment. I, I really don't care. So I, I laughed. I didn't even know this comment uh, until 20 hours after this person said what they said, um, I'm not going to read the comments, but I do get in my email, I do get the, a copy of the comment and what was said. And, uh, it was pretty amusing. I, I didn't think I would get, uh, well, I guess what I'm 60 videos in now. So I'm not surprised that I got some kind of negative feedback i don't even know what it was to be honest i i don't know I, I think i hurt someone's feelings i don't know but uh whoever the person was thanks for wasting your time to reach out to me i guess i don't know i would have liked you to uh email me and we could have talked about it and maybe i could have understood where you were coming from or whatever or or vice versa i don't know but hey who cares pressing on i just thought it was amusing i thought it was <laughs> it was a nice little surprise, to be honest. And uh, JB, I finally posted a picture of the uh, the pipe rack. Uh, and by the way, an update on that: it was it was actually thirty bucks, thirty four bucks, I think it was. I had said seven for some reason. I thought it was seven dollars. I don't know where I got that from. Probably because it's Amazon. But in any case, that's not the case. And I probably shouldn't be moving my knife around like a madman. But this is kind of this is a bit dull now. But anyway. Let's open this thing up. Uh, give you guys some guesses of what it could be. It's uh, kind of excited about this because two things that are in this order that I haven't been able to find till now. So paper we don't need we don't need that but first before i get to the main course this uh and this was from this order is from tobaccopipes.com which i like this service they're pretty quick and uh i don't know i like them but this this kind of i was i just happened to go on their homepage uh just to check pipes around just to see what they got or whatever just cruising around um and they had this on their homepage they had this big i guess promotion if you will uh on this slide the home slide image and this was one of them this is from cobblestone and this one i figured this would be a perfect morning blend for me when uh i do morning coffee so look for that soon probably this weekend if i had to guess funny thing is now i'm gonna need to uh get more uh, jars to put this in but uh we'll do a tin note soon this weekend and i got another one uh this one kind of appealed to me this one i think i'm gonna save till winter if i can we'll see so this one right here hot chocolate which i'm a big fan of so I don't know if I'll pair it with another hot chocolate or with coffee and Bailey's and then this. I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what it smells like. I imagine. Oh, by the way, the, the bacon one. Remember when I was doing the tin note and I remember I said I couldn't smell bacon. Obviously, bacon's not in there, but your mind plays tricks on you. And I'd said when I was smoking it and in the smoke, I was like, I, there's like a hint of bacon for some reason. I think it was all in my head. It's crazy because I went back and I read the description. Of, I, 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 the fruitiness and the citrus, I think I, I picked those out if I remember right. But 
yeah, I was completely baffled by my mind. See, your mind plays weird things on you. But anyway, let's get to the things that really matter, and here we go. Pretty cool pouch, don't you think? I've been wanting to get a Morgan pipe for about a year, um, but I haven't been able to. So I bought, there are two types of author pipes. I bought, let's see if I can find on my invoice here. I bought, uh, they're, all, they're bones pipes, of course, because I had to get, you know, the untreated, whatever, bare bones, if you will, pipes, because I like them. I like my oils and my hands creating the 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 patina on it uh so let's see i got the the o, the regular author pipe and then i got the fat author pipe so two different pipes let me close up the knife before someone gets hurt which obviously would be me but uh let's pull this one out let's see da, 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 da. there you go now i don't know if this is the fat one or I don't know, but I, I like the feel. Let's see how we, we compare to the Savinelli and the bones. So I don't know if you can kind of see that. Let me see if I can get a good. This one's lighter. This has got more beef into it. Uh, there you go. You can see the, the holes. This is a little. A lot bigger actually although the inside might be might be uh but i'm looking forward to smoking this uh i'm not going to smoke tonight i got a bit of a headache to be honest but this is uh pretty cool got this gash on the side here though i don't know that's that's interesting see how that goes um put the logo right there that's pretty cool so that's one I'll put it back in the the cool pouch. That's pretty cool. And let's see. Let's see what this one is. I don't know which one's which. I got to look at the pictures online. But uh, well, this is interesting. Here we go. This. I don't know. This. Here we go. Fits in there now. Hmm. It's a bit fancied at the end there. I don't know if you can see. It's like smooth right here. But the rest of it's all... And there's the thing there. I'm getting bit by mosquitoes here. I might have to close the door. But let's look at this one. I got a bug on my foot. Getting attacked. So there we go. Kind of... I think this is the fat one, judging by the crown on here. I could be wrong, but uh, still feels lighter. Let's see if you can get a comparison. And then, uh, there we go. Smaller hole. It's deep, though. Not as deep as this one. But uh, let me get the... Actually, while I'm at it, let me do this. Plus now I could sit on me. But here's the two two pipes. Yeah, so this is gonna be the fat. This one right here. It's obviously bigger than than this one. I don't know if that lined up right. I don't know. I think the camera's a little a little goofy here. But anyway, as you can see, this one's bigger than this one. Uh not by much. Um little deeper as you expect on the fat but this is a uh, interesting well this one's smooth on the the end here too so that's not bad it's about the same there let's try this compare it with my uh, about the same this has got a little more 
refinement, which is funny because it's an unfinished pipe, as are these. But I'm looking forward to smoking these. I'm looking forward to having uh, finally see how they smoke. Uh, a lot of people I know like these. Um, this one seems to have a crack in it too, uh, right there. So this will be interesting. I mean, it doesn't look like it. It's gonna affect anything based by by the feel here. This one's interesting because it reminds me of my first pipe, which has a a hole in the back here. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I got them for forty five bucks. I thought that was pretty reasonable. Um, at uh, tobaccopipes.com and the funny thing is after I had ordered yesterday out of boredom yesterday afternoon I just happened to be scouting their site again for one reason I think it was to check on my order and and I just happened to real like yesterday afternoon I realized I was out of um, I'm sure there's nothing else in there I was out of uh, filters I needed nine millimeter filters and some six millimeters and so I ordered some of them and then I ended up getting a, a pouch a tobacco pouch uh, and a small little pipe because I'm gonna have like a little travel kit that I want to make so when I go on a hike or something I, I can bring that with me and chill out and have a nice smoke so I uh, I did that as well so I got another order for coming from them it should be here by the end of the week, I think. They're pretty quick about when the turnaround is. I, I can't, I can't complain. I don't have any complaints against their service or their delivery or their selection's pretty good. Uh, a couple of pipes that I really am interested in is the Dracula by Peterson, but th it seems like they're all sold out. So I might have to scour the internet find one. Uh, we'll see. Um, I think that's it. There might be a few other pipes I'm interested in, but nothing. Nothing on the radio yet. There's a Sherlock Holmes Peterson one. I kind of been browsing those. There's a Dr. Watson one. Maybe it's to go with my Sherlock Holmes book. We'll we'll see. Maybe that'll be the official Sherlock Holmes pipe that I use. Um, but I don't know. I mean, it's gonna be hard to beat the King. This one's my favorite. It's gonna be hard to top that. Um, I gotta say, my confidence in the Morgan pipes. Beating that is, first off, it's based on looks, so that doesn't mean jack poop. It is based with these Knicks, which isn't bad. It adds character, so this could end up being awesome and probably my favorite smoke. We shall see, but uh, first smoke with these will come this week. I don't know when. Um, if I'm lucky enough, if I get enough sleep in and I get up early enough, I'll come out and I'll try the black coffee which is ironic because I really don't drink my coffee black. I do have it black. I do uh, usually my second cup a day at work. I go with a, a black coffee at work. Um, mostly because I want to reduce the the cream or whatever intake there. But this looks a little gnarly, which might end up being a really good thing because I like kind of beat up things. As you know, I like Jeeps and I like that they're beat up and utilitarian and stuff. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if it can dethrone thrown it uh, the second one is this one the country gentleman this one is my second favorite and it's pretty close to to the Savinelli uh, 320 there and then of course this one here is another good one this is a uh, one of my probably my third favorite but at some point I'll, I'll go through my whole pipe collection at some point and then this one one of my new ones which I do love this is this is such a good pipe this would be actually a good pipe to put in the pipe pouch and go for a walk with it. This is actually a good walking pipe. I should walk around the neighborhood with this. Walk by, get looks from people. So, that's pretty much it. Nothing uh, spectacular. I also got a, I have a knife that I specifically bought for the shed. I call it the shed knife. Uh, that should be here this week as well. I don't know if I'll do a review on it, but I'll talk about it. Hopefully, I... I I get my package in with my filters and I'll, I'll do it all at once and talk about it there and why I got the knife and stuff so uh, which mostly has to do with the camera actually believe it or not but we'll save that for that when that happens but uh, 
I'm gonna get out of here, post this video, read a little, get some sleep, and uh, be back at it tomorrow. Not sure what I have planned for a video, but um, I'm sure I'll think of something soon. So, but anyway, thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching my <laughs> not so entertaining yabbo or unboxing video of pipes and tobacco. Not much. I know I don't have a lot. It was just two tins and two pipes. Uh, nothing too spectacular. But in any case, thanks for joining me, uh, JB. I hope you enjoyed the picture on my Instagram. Uh, you guys can go follow me. Uh, the links down below or at least uh, well, I don't know if it's a link But you can cut and paste it and you'll find me on Instagram or whatever. That's my preferred social media. So uh, Either that or you can just send me a, a An email reach out to me if you want so with that I'm out of here. See you guys next time